Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot. I'm here to do a reading for Aries. This is for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. I wasn't sure who to do next, and I was sitting here and I was thinking about it, and I thought, you know, it really has to be Aries. Anyhow, you guys won the battle. You won the battle. So I'm not sure what this battle is, but you're winning a battle. You've won the battle. You're 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 on top. You're at the top of the list. Something like that. So uh, this is over. The battle is over. You won. So I don't know what that means for you, but take that as a message. The battle is over. You have won, or you're going to win, or you're gonna win. Something like that. It's over. This battle is over. Um, whatever that means for you. So what do we just have? The oh, bunch fell out. We're not going to take that. What uh, do we have for Aries? This is for, I would say, the next 10 days. But the timing is fluid. Just because I said 10 days, you know, this doesn't have to be 10 days. But it could be sooner. It could be the 10th. Could be something to do with 10. I don't know why. I don't think I ever say that either. Um, but 10s are also about completions. Because like you know, ten is really ten, 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 ten. Tens are completions. A cycle in your life is completing. Ten is also you know ten. Ten is judgment. The judgment day. Ten is wheel of fortune. Things changing. So your life is about to change. It's destined. You're destined for some sort of positive change in your life. Whatever is happening is very fortunate. It may be, it may have to do with a final decision. It may have to do with some sort of acceptance. It may have to do with some sort of major ending because of those tens. Tens are completions. Now tens, if you think about the judgment card, because now it's really poking out at me, that's judgment day. Judgment is about uh, acceptance, absolution. Uh, a final decision, karma, um, mm, I don't know if there's going to be some sort of reconciliation or, or it doesn't have to be, um, 10 is forgiveness and acceptance, I mean not 10, did I say 10, I meant to say judgment, um, are you ready to be judged? Because there's some sort, maybe you're going to court. I don't know if you're going to court, but you think about judgment. There's a judgment that's going to be made. If it's going to be made, it's going to be made in your favor. Maybe there's going to be some sort of forgiveness that is given. Um, releasing, releasing of your pain, something like that. Um, rising, rising again, feeling alive again. Jeez, uh, my eyes were closed during all that, just so you know. Um... What do we have for Aries? And maybe your eyes are going to be closed while you get... So the judgment is a card of awakening. So they're going through some sort of awakening, getting some sort of epiphany. Okay? It's the end of things as well with the judgment card. Life is about to change for you. And, the, and judgment could also be a renewal of some sort, a renewal of life. Um, what do we have for Aries? The fool starting fresh. That's perfect, okay? That is a fresh new start. Starting at zero, starting over, rebuilding, okay? Rebuilding. It's starting it's starting over. So this the rainbow is comes after the storm. Okay, it's peace after the storm. This is an exciting opportunity to start fresh, to start with a clean slate. So you are going to be starting from zero. Okay, this is number zero. Starting a new journey, starting that new chapter. Like I said, this is taking a risk, rebuilding, stepping forward in blind faith. Um, there could be a, something that happens spur of the moment. You get this opportunity at spur of the moment. And I think you're th that you are going to take it. I think it's an exciting opportunity. You're going to be stepping into unchartered territory this month. Okay? You are. And you're going to be building something. You are going to be building something. You notice that life jacket. Interesting. Um, something about a new life. Okay? It feels like you're, you're, if you know, and I see the paint being spilled. It's like you're, you, this is a blank canvas and you have an opportunity to uh, make it whatever you want. 
now you get to make it whatever you want. So I, I think this is, is, is fantastic, okay? I see you leaving something behind, too. Leaving quite a bit behind, okay? You're leaving something behind that, that didn't serve you anymore. It was time. It was time for you to start fresh. It was time for your new life. Because this is the first card in the deck. Okay, that means you have a you have a new journey in front of you. You are about to embark on a new journey. And that means leaving that other stuff behind, starting completely over. So this is starting completely over. You may get a, a sudden opportunity that really strikes your fancy. Now, I just happened to notice the butterfly. I don't think I've, I've really noticed it on this card. A butterfly is a symbol of transformation. So you, this is a transformation. Transformation is on the death card. Death is a card of release, renewal, and endings. So, you know, from this one card, I can tell that you are letting something go that didn't serve you. Uh, endings lead to new beginnings. You have a major new beginning here where you are about to embark on a new journey that is going to uh, be completely different than the last one. This this next chapter of your life is, or this next phase of your life, this, this journey that you are about to embark on has n nothing to do with the past. Okay, this is a brand new life. Brand new chapter for you. So it starts now. It starts now. Uh, what do we have for Aries? Ooh, the sun reversed. Now that is a uh, lack of growth, a lack of happiness, unhappiness, sadness, depression. Okay, so maybe that's where you've been. Okay, maybe you're in a situation where there was no more fertility. It was dark. It was it was dark, and you needed more light. Maybe you weren't seeing the light. There was some sort of unhappiness there. There was sadness, um, unhealth, unhealthy, unhealthy situation. Um, somebody may have not been being honest with themselves. Tower. So this is when the tower comes in and causes this upheaval in your life. There's some poor health here. Something is unhealthy. And it could be the foundation that you live in. It could be a structure that is falling apart or has falling apart. You notice that, you know, that that isn't been that's an explosion right there. Okay. That is an explosion. That tower the tower moment is is uh life event that shocks you because you didn't expect it it's an accident of some sort there could be an accident there's there, or, you know it's you didn't see it coming but it happened or it's going to happen this happens so that you are forced to start over this is a necessary evil there was no growth in a situation there was no light it was dark there was no happiness somebody wasn't was pretending to be happy they weren't happy there. They needed to. They needed something brighter. They needed something better. It was a false sense of security. It was a, some sort something false. This is, seriously, there was, it was a false happiness. It was a false foundation. It wasn't stable. It, it was dark. It was dark. So I think this is a universe card. The universe came in to remove something, or is removing something from your life. Um, I think it's quite a shock. I think it's it's a shock to your system. I think that maybe it brings you some sort of sadness or it brings you some sort of tears or some sort, sort of sorrow, but it also brings you a new beginning because you've got a new beginning here. This is an opportunity to start fresh and you should be excited. And I think that you are. You may be, have been shocked for a minute or you're going to be shocked, but in the long run, you're going to be excited. This is an element of excitement that, you know, you get to start fresh. This is fantastic. It really is. So there's been some sort of upheaval or there's going to be. And this is like an explosion. Okay? It is. It's an explosion that causes this false sense of security or this false foundation or whatever it is to crash, to crumble, to fall apart. Okay? There's been an element of darkness, and here comes the light. Okay, here comes the light. Interesting. 
somebody is moving. They are moving. They are moving to a better place. Or there's there's going to be a better place that is is coming. Okay, you're you're close to getting to that getting to that better place. This is movement. Now this is an unexpected choice in love, the lovers cards. So this is definitely unexpected, unexpected, unexpected. You have some unexpected events coming this month. This is too. So you have you definitely have something unexpected that has happened or it is about to happen. This is going to bring you together with somebody that you are destined to be with. This is destiny. This is the perfect match. This person may not fit the physical description, but these are kindred spirits. This is a soulmate connection. This is this is an angel that is bringing two people together. This is uh, a love connection of some sort with the lover's card. This is a perfect union, but this is also a choice. And it's a, this is a card of consequences. Be careful with your choice. It looks like you are headed towards a perfect union. You are. But it's after some sort of disaster. Because the tower is a disaster which pushes you in the direction of this soulmate. Okay? So, yeah, you, got, you are being pushed towards a soulmate connection. Pushed towards um, love. Okay, and this is unexpected, and this is a choice between two. The lovers is a choice between two. So I know a lot of you are going to be like, oh, no, no, no. Well, then this reading isn't for you. Okay, this is a choice between two. It is. You're going to have to make a choice. I feel as though there is some sort of disaster or upheaval or chaos or painful life change that uh, it changes everything. It changes everything. You are being given the opportunity. You are going to be forced, okay, because this is a universe that is pushing you towards this connection, but this is starting fresh. It's like you're being forced, like the universe is forcing you. They're forcing you to deal with this sadness. They're forcing you to deal with this unhappy situation. They're forcing you to. You are being forced, okay? Now, for some of you, you may be, and remember I said pretending. This is a false sense of security, and this is pretending to be happy. Like I just said, some of you are going to say, oh, no, 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 no. Somebody is pretending to be happy. Now, it could be you or the person that you're dealing with, okay? Because there is somebody in this reading, whether it is you or the person that you are dealing with, that has an opportunity for love. This is an unexpected opportunity for love. This is a sexual connection. This is a uh, perfect match. It's a perfect match. Somebody could be falling in love or they, they are just, whatever this is happening, they are being pushed towards this connection. And it's very, it's shock. It's a shock. It is definitely a shock. Um, there's some sort of poor health here as well. Somebody could, this is sickness, and somebody could even collapse, okay? So I'm not sure if there's going to, somebody is going to collapse, or it's a building that collapses. And I'm not just saying that, but this is a, the tower is about to collapse, okay? Something is about to collapse. And, and there's a forced, this is forced movement towards, you know, this union, three of swords. Now there's heartache, there's heart pain here. This is releasing of pain. I think we have a masculine that is going to be releasing some pain because you notice I covered up the, the masculine. I didn't even know it. I never know where I'm going to put the cards. And this is releasing pain. Could be heart pain, heart ache. This is releasing the pain, leaving the past hurts behind. Um, the universe says that it's time to heal. It's time to move on from this pain. This is an opportunity for love. Take a risk. Take this risk. This is risky business. It is risky. So judgment. I knew that we were, I knew it. I knew it. So judgment is about acceptance. It's about karma. It's about truth. It's an awakening. So it's forgiveness. Somebody may be asking for forgiveness. This is also, are you ready to be judged? I feel as though judgment day is coming and tr some sort of truth is going to come out. This is truth being revealed, a revelation or an epiphany. Um, also something about forgiveness. Somebody may be asking for forgiveness.
another angel here. There's some angels around. We got an angel here. We got some angels around you. There's some angels that are guiding you. Um, there's angel guidance. Um, it feels like sirens, you know, something I can, I can almost hear them. I don't know if there's going to be some sign. I just had the flag. I don't know if there's some sort of trumpet or something like that. And I don't usually say, I know there's a trumpet on the judgment card and I usually don't call it out, but I'm calling it out now. Something is going to be called out. There's going to be some sort of, somebody's going to be called out of some sort. Seeing the truth. Lot, there's something that it, this is the truth coming out and this is the truth coming out. The truth is, is going, there's exposure here of the of the truth. Somebody has definitely been pretending they've been wearing a mask. They've been blocking their emotions. They've been blocking the truth. They've been refusing to see. They've been refusing to accept. Refusing to accept the truth about something. Hmm. There's been a level of indecision. And there's fear. And there's worry. And there's anxiety. And there's stress. So we have somebody here that has become emotionally cold. And they've been emotionally cold because this is a card of the past. Because of the past. So they've become emotionally cold. Now there's an opportunity for love because that's what the lover's card is. But there's a there's denial here. There's some there's some element of denial, but coming out of denial. Um The Knight of Swords reverse. Now that is uh Ooh, somebody that's explosive, dangerous energy. I don't know. So, I mean, you're dealing with somebody with this knight that is untrustworthy. Somebody has been lying. Somebody has been lying. They have not been telling the truth. This person is untrustworthy. You got somebody that is around you that is lying to you. They are telling you they're lying to you about something. This person does not, and this doesn't want, this is about being held accountable. And whoever, you got somebody doesn't want to be held accountable for their actions. This person is ignorant. You're dealing with somebody that is ignorant. They're lying. You're dealing with a liar here. This is somebody who doesn't care who they hurt. Hmm. All is not as it seems. You could be dealing with Pisces. You could be dealing with a Cancer. You could be dealing with a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Um, we have Scorpio, Leo. Um, but all is not as it seems. There's some sort of, some, something is hidden. Somebody is hiding the truth. They are hiding the truth from you. They are deceiving you. They are lying to you. And I think that something is going to be revealed and you are going to see it. And that may be what causes the chaos, what causes the upheaval. Something is going to be shown to you. There's something that is going to be revealed. And it's going to help you to make a choice because this is a choice. This is also a healing love. The lover's card is a healing love. You, it's like the the ace angels have are bringing you an, a healing love. They're bringing you somebody, and this is healing as well. The three of swords reverse. You may not see it. You may not see this connection. You may not see this opportunity as as it being what it is. You may be too guarded. You may be too fearful because there is definitely, this could be fear. This could be you. This Knight of Swords could be you. This is somebody who is ignorant. This is somebody that is clueless. It's right underneath the Lover's card reverse. So yeah, the Knight of Swords in reverse is somebody who is clueless. In denial, blocking their heart. So we could have somebody here that is basically naive and clueless and doesn't see. Definitely, there's a blindfold on. So if somebody doesn't see that this is a this is a fantastic opportunity. It's a perfect match. It's like the universe is pu is pushing you towards that divine union. This is a divine union. It's the perfect time. It's the perfect match. But we got somebody here that just can't see it. They're clueless. They can't see it. They can't see it. 
They're in, they're maybe they got, they're in some sort of fantasy land or something. I don't know. Um, so this is the truth. This is a realization, an awakening. So this is awakening. So this is a wake-up call. Somebody is going to get a wake-up call. They're going to see the truth. Somebody is going to see the truth about something. Maybe dealing with a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Things are about to change. This person doesn't love, doesn't know how to love, is very emotional. This person is vindictive. This is somebody that is uh, hypersensitive, put it that way, revengeful, petty, clingy, needy, uh, may have some sort of addictions, may be a victim, may be shallow. This point person um, is overly emotional, uses emotional blackmail as a tool. You could be dealing with this person. This person doesn't have anything tender, loving, care to offer. But with the Wheel of Fortune, we have a positive change. That is, things are about to change, and they're going to change in your favor. This is good luck. The, it's like this, it's like the wheel is spinning and it is bringing something positive in your life after you have been through some sort of disastrous situation with an individual who uh, deceived you, tricked you, lied to you, uh, used you, uh didn't love you, things are about to change. Okay, this is a positive change. Good luck is on its way. This is the wheel of life that is in constant motion. This is destiny. You have destiny here a couple times. Destiny here and destiny here. You are being pushed into a destined partnership. It's time. So, I feel as though one cycle again is coming to an end with this 10. Remember I saw the 10s? A cycle of your life is coming to an end with somebody that didn't love you. But now something positive is coming because this is a positive change you are about to embark on a new journey and this is exciting this is an exciting opportunity to step into uncharted territory and rebuild your new life so I think this is a very pivotal month for you it is very positive I think that they this is a very fortunate uh event that has happened or is about to be happen. You may not see it as such when it happens because it's not comfortable. It's not going to be comfortable. It's not easy to leave things behind because the fool doesn't take anything with him on the new journey. He starts from scratch, okay? That's, that's the meaning of the fool. Now all that, everything is gone, okay? So I think that you are going to be starting from scratch. I think it's a very positive change for you that leads you down a path that you have never been down. So, and this is a major awakening, okay? So you are about to go through a major life change that is very positive. Um, all is not as it seems. This, they're bringing you some sort of if they haven't brought this person to you already, this person is not your usual type. But it's somebody that you have a soulmate connection with. It's very unexpected. Good luck.